Hi guys, my name is Fine Fine. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now, I've got some very sad news. Mike, I had technical difficulties yesterday and my uh, challenge series, extreme challenge series, has been destroyed. So, we spent about 10, 12 hours in that and honestly, I don't think you guys want to watch me do that again and start from the beginning. So there may be a time down the line, especially when we get new updates, I may try that challenge series again. But instead, you might have noticed I'm on experimental mode again. And we are going to do a, another challenge. We're going to do a thousand beaver challenge because I want to make some pretty cool buildings. And I've got a few ideas of buildings that I want to make. So. I think I'm, I'm going to be quite excited for this and I hope you guys are excited for this and I'm sorry if you really wanted to watch the Extreme Difficulty Challenge series. It should be back sometime soon. But um, let's get into this one. Now, I'm going to use the Iron Teeth this time because I like how they're building stack. And I've got a few ideas which is going to need a lot of power. So, yeah, I think, I think we're going to need Iron Teeth. We're going to go on to a big map and I'm thinking either lakes or terrace because we've done Thousand Islands and there are my challenge maps that I made before. This is a big map but that's the, that's the first map. Okay, let's go on to lakes and we're going to go on normal because this is going to be more about building big structures, building a sustainable environment and pretty much I feel like it's going to cover most of the map. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of work. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so we're here. We're going to call this settlement. Um, the actual settlement of the save is going to be Thousand Beaver Challenge. All right. Let's pause it. Let's take a look at this map. I haven't really looked at this map. There are a lot of lakes, aren't there? It makes sense because it's called lake. Is that in the water? Oh, that's pretty neat. Let's see what how deep that goes. Okay, that's not that deep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, we've got a blockage here that we can let out. Another blockage here. Oh, there's quite a lot of blockages. So we can fill the map with water. We've got this bad boy which I cannot wait to use. We're going to have to make a lot of production of gears and banks, I believe it is. Oh, we've got a lot to do with this map. I want to do a lot with this map. I want to get most of this map covered and sorted. Oh, I've never seen stairs indented before. Hmm, pretty neat. So this one is going to be the main district. And I normally call my main district Haven. Um, and I want to, I, I might delete this at some point because for my main district, I want to build a tower. Now, I don't know how there's logistics of it, but I want to build vertically. I want it to go up and I want to uh, pretty much use this sort of square and then just go as high as possible and have everything in that. Now, there's going to be a lot of uh, lot of issues with that because we need ground, ground for certain things like food. But I think I might be able to get around that. So we're going to be trying some very, very interesting things. We're going to have a power district as well that provides power to every other district. So we're going to have a massive, a massive engine district with uh, water wheels and all that jazz. That's going to have poles going everywhere. And yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of fun. So let's start this. Let me start the first bit of this build. So I'm not gonna build the tower just yet because I don't have a lot of the research. We've got to do a lot of research. We've got a bit get a bit more sustainable. And um, yeah, we've got to get in a position where we're comfortable, especially when it comes to droughts. Okay, so we've got the majority of it up and running. Got a nice little starting area. I think actually we need another house, to be honest with you. There we go. And 
one person's died of old age already. That means the rest are going to die pretty soon. So we've got some uh, printing pods or breeding pods getting done. And we've got food and water going. Nice and simple so far. Right. So the next thing I want to do, like always, is start working my way into planks so I can get a forester. So uh, let's get that bad boy there. Let's get this one here and the, that little number and that will just get us the planks that we need to start making a forester and then we can start making unlimited trees and look at that we got sap we've got a lot of different things to har harvest this is pine resin there's so much to do now there's a lot to do and so let me talk about the idea of um the tower on our make so we can build on these and we can build on quite a few things and quite a few things have the solid uh trait to them which means things can be built on top now i'm wondering if i can build upwards and have an infrastructure in the middle of levees and platforms and then on the outside have buildings that can build on top of each other so maybe on the first floor we would have uh let's say i don't want to put a house on the first floor. i want to, I want to put that a bit higher maybe we'll just put levees and platforms on the first floor and on the second floor we can have houses and then we'll build a little internal stairway in the middle like a circular -like stairway and on the outside again on top of the houses we'll put something else and i also i also want to try and make water up there so <laughs> there's a lot of things that we need to try I'm not sure if it's going to work but there's a lot of things we definitely need to try now how much science have we got we've only got 33 okay i might need to build one more science area to be honest because i've got a lot of research to do and yeah i want to get that done asap all right, we can bring you down to one, really, and get someone in there. And once that's done, we'll get someone making planks. But while you're waiting around, you can do that. We've run out of berries already. So I am worried about making people. This is the thing about iron teeth. It's a, it's a struggle to keep the population going. And then once you get it going, it's a struggle to make them stop. <laughs> It's, uh, it's very micromanaging. I don't know if there's an actual um, ratio to if you keep them alive long enough, they die as a new one is born. Uh, we would have to do some calculations. Maybe we can do it in, in this series. So what are we going to be researching after the Forester? The thing we'll need to do after Forester is start making our mitigation for droughts. So levees and floodgates now i could build a levee to make an irrigation and that way we can keep this place green for a while well for quite some time while the droughts are happening as it's normal the drought shouldn't be too crazy so that shouldn't be that should be okay we can focus on building stuff instead and uh let's get rid of all of this these stumps here and now the way I do it, like always, I just put a path like this, get delete them. Because if you to um, destroy, it takes actually labor to do that. And they can take time doing that because it's not always their priority. And that takes them away from doing other stuff. And at the moment, we've got a lot of stuff getting done. So I can just do something like this and delete it all. Let's make sure. That is deleted. So we're getting our first drought now. Our first drought. So it's mostly only going to be like one day or two days or something like that. It depends what the role is. Now, if you don't know how the droughts work, uh, your first, uh, well, your droughts normally have a number and it rolls zero to one, between zero and one. And the higher it is, the higher the drought would be. To the max drought, it can be on that difficulty. With the handicapped, it will uh, make it less likely to be a higher number, basically. So then you would normally get quite a low number at first until the handicap is done and it progressively gets bigger and bigger as it gets closer to the end of the handicap days. 
I'm sorry if that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, if it does, well done. <laughs> but yeah, so on your first high, uh, on your first drought, it on normal it should be pretty pretty simple. I think you can have up to what is it seven or eight days drought in normal altogether. I'm not too sure right off the top of my head, but because of the handicap, it will most probably only roll about a two day drought and then it'll give us, yeah, maybe one or two days. So it's going to be easy for a while and it gives us time to deal with other stuff. Okay, you can stop now and you can go in. Why did you not go in there? Because people are dying. That's why you didn't go in there. Okay, I do need, why are you not, oh, you can't reach there. Now you can. No, you can't. Really? Really? Is that the extent of your your working life? All right, let's get you in berries. Okay, nope, of course you'll go somewhere else. Let's get you in berries. Cool, because we will definitely need a stock of berries if we want to keep producing children. So we're starting to get planks, lovely. We've got science points to get the forester. Amazing. Now, for now, I'm going to put the forester here because it can still reach over there. So I'm going to plant some blueberries over there just so we keep a stack of blueberries going. Now, the iron teeth do need a lot of blueberries. So if you ever use the iron teeth, keep that in mind. Water and blueberries are a big thing for the iron teeth. Let's just get some pathways going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the design yet because we're going to be building quite a lot and we can delete and change things as we go along. Now, the in the experimental version, the maple has a longer days to grow uh, requirement. Before it used to be 28, now it's 30. But now it gives you maple syrup and eight logs. But first, we're going to go with some birch and some pine. I'm just going to do something like that. And you know, I'm gonna leave a bit of space so we can uh, have some roads in there. Why not give them better pathing? Okay, it's a three day drought, so that's not too bad. We've got. Ooh, when is that gonna be? Oh, we've got some food. Let's get them getting berries oh and this is made already lovely i love it now it is taking its time to get down here which i'm not going to complain about <laughs> definitely not going to complain about it give, it's already gone half a day so where is it leaking out of right there but it seems to be a decent supply of water okay I'm okay with that. It's, it seems like we're not even in a drought. Um, let's do that. Let's put that back on. Are we full on stock? No, we've still got loads. Mm, they must just be taking their time getting the berries. Oh, we definitely need to get past all this. All this grey, brown, life we're not about that we're about nice green happiness all right so we're going to let this drought pass and we're going to continue doing what we do best okay so the drought has ended now i've unlocked levies and i saw on discord that there's a a very simple way to do levies uh do irrigation towers and i don't know why i haven't thought of this but it's so much cheaper than the way i used to do it so Thank you to whoever put that picture there. And I cannot remember for the life of me who it was. But you literally do something like this, right? You get the water dump, which you don't have yet. Put it on top of there and you get stairs, which also we don't have yet. And put it there. And it literally does the same thing. Because why do you need the corners when they're connected here, right? So that's a really, really good tactic. Especially if you're low on wood which at the moment I have zero wood so it would help you know what 
let's uh, get one of these here. These should be growing now, so that's absolutely fine. We need someone in there because we will run out of food. I am going to pause one of these because I don't want it to get too out of hand. And we've got 12 people and, well, 12 adults and two children. Now, I could stop science if things get dire and get them doing other stuff, but we should be fine for now. I might actually stop this and put that on to get water back a lot faster because we are using water in here as well. And he's planting away. They're happy beavers. They are happy beavers. Now, if you haven't seen that update video that I did before, um, go check it out because there's a lot of new things. But one of the new things is to unlock the iron teeth, they've upgraded the requirement. It used to be eight, I believe, and now it's 11. So uh, I believe eight was a bit too easy. I, I kind of agree with the update of that because it's quite easy to keep them happy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're going to let them carry on a little bit longer. See you guys in a sec. Right, so we have our irrigation tower. It does kind of come over the side here. On each one, but it doesn't flood anything. That's the whole... Yeah, it doesn't flood anything. And he's a happy little bunny, or a happy little beaver, should I say. So we can stop that. It's keeping our place green. We had a two-day drought, nothing special. But we can continuously now grow berries and... Um, uh, carrots and any other food and trees and all that stuff. I just realized this doesn't go up here. Okay, that I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I'm going to do this and I'm going to make the path here. I am super happy with that because I wanted it to connect anyways. And then we can delete this path here. This makes it look a little bit more neater, doesn't it? And last one, lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're getting quite a lot of research done. What I want to get into next, oh, I need some storage. I am going to need some storage. Okay, let's get some storage done. I'm building a little um, levy, dam, levy, dam, levy situation, just to help the water slow down when it comes out, when the droughts happen, so we can have a bit more greenery here but um yeah i want to get into aquatic farming uh because i want to play around with that a little bit more that is 150 uh research points science points which we're nearly done and it takes 30 logs and 10 planks i have no planks we're making logs so that's not too much of a problem i also want to get across here and get these berries but it's not so important we've got quite a few berries there we're producing people everyone's happy i don't know why he's not planting this nah but he's doing that okay let's get have we got anyone spare we've got someone here and you've only got one person we don't need you so you can go we can do that okay cool so then we can start getting some planks. So I'm going to need 10 planks and 30 logs. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're going to start aquatic farming in the next episode. So be sure to see that. It's a fun new little way to get food. And welcome to the Thousand Beaver Challenge. So guys, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you're going to enjoy this series. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Peace.